Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I've got some good news for Unity developers out there, and that is that Shader Forge, one of the more popular plugins on the Asset Store, is now available completely free and open source. Now, there is a reason behind this. Uh, today on my Twitter, I saw from the developer uh, basically, they are no longer going to be able to support it because in Unity 2018, they changed the shader model and it basically broke Shader Forge. Now, Unity 2018 and forward, they're going to have this kind of functionality built in anyway. So this is really only relevant to people using Unity 2017 and earlier or people that want to jump into the source code and learn how this stuff worked. Now, essentially, Shader Forge worked by, uh, you know, a visual graph of nodes to create a shader. This is pretty popular. A lot of the... Uh, a lot of game engines are working on a system like this. Like As I mentioned, now Unity is doing this out of the box in their new versions, coming forward versions, or they're working on the support anyways. But this is a very mature pipeline that um, it's been in development for four or five years now. And this is pretty much how you go about creating your shaders. If you've worked in Blender Cycle, probably uh, Max and Maya both have a similar shader hypergraph setup. You probably have a pretty good idea how it's going to work. On top of that, there's also uh, a few dozen shaders in there to get your hands dirty with. Now, do be aware, however, that the... Um, Again, this is broken on 2018, so this is only relevant if you're using Unity 2017 or earlier. Now, it is available on the Asset Store completely free. Um, just go ahead and download here or open up the Asset Store inside of Unity, download and import it into your project, and have at it. There's uh, tutorials on, there's all, actually all kinds of tutorials on getting started with Shader Forge, so there's a uh, lot out there. I'm not going to bother downloading an old version and configuring it to do showcase it to you because there's already lots of stuff out there. So if you're interested in learning more about Shader Forge, uh, do just search for it on YouTube. There's a number of videos that will show you exactly what's involved, but it's a pretty for straightforward process, really. Um, and it can create some uh, pretty nice results pretty easily. Now, in terms of being open source, the developer just put it up on uh, GitHub. Now, the cool thing is, so this was three hours ago, the source code was published. Um, but the nice part is it's actually published on the, the MIT license. Now, the MIT open source license is probably as friendly as open source licenses get. It's pretty much do what you want. You've got no warranty. Have at it. And I got to say, I, I have to applaud the author on this. You know, a lot of people just uh, abandon their code. And then some people would even continue to charge for it, even though it isn't working. So it's nice to see this developer basically say, all right, this is done. I can't support it anymore. So here's the source code and have at it. So uh, bravo to you, Freya. Uh, great work here. It's cool to see. Uh, so if you're interested in checking that out, I will throw the link here for the um, MIT, the, the uh, GitHub link down below. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, you can find it on the asset store inside of Unity. Just search for Shader Forge and it's the first hit you will find. And then on top, I believe there are actually all the assets and shaders, example assets, etc., are all in here. So if you want to learn from existing shaders, there are a ton of them available to get you started. Well, two or three dozen. So, uh, again, some pretty interesting news from the world of Unity. Uh, the Shader Forge plugin is now free. Now, again, Unity 2017 and earlier. And that really shouldn't be that big of a deal because if you're on Unity 2018, this functionally is, functionality is basically going to be available out of the box um, very, very soon if it's not mature enough already. All right, that's it for now. I hope some of you found that useful, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.